<clears throat> okay, sorry about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, folks. I appreciate everyone that's coming through right now. Uh, we're gonna be playing some Metal Gear. I have always wanted to stream Metal Gear and yet never have. Now, there are some things about this stream that you're gonna notice that uh, seem off. My aim's gonna be shit. Uh, the resolution on the actual game is not going to be very good. In fact, it's already screwed up, so give me one second. Don't know how that happened. Alright. Oh, cool, it is in 16 by 9. Good. Anyways. Um, I've actually been playing through this game quite a bit. Uh, but I decided for the fuck of it. Let's just start again. I'm gonna play on... I don't know. Normal mode. Let's go, Metal Gear Solid 4. Boom! This game's odd. This game starts off very strangely. Now, you have answered 9 out of 10 questions right, Melissa. You have one question left. You get it wrong, then we have to say goodbye and maybe good luck, but don't hold your breath. <laughs> I'm gonna get it right. I want that new RV, Larry, and I've been planning this vacation forever. Well, now, Larry, that would be your husband, of course. Yeah. Hi there, Larry. Hi there, Larry. <laughs> I hopes for that RV all bet, Larry. Larry's such a good man. We've been married for a while. He wants to give me the second Melissa, honeymoon. Melissa, I'm going to have week. to ask you to choose your question, please. This is a strange game. Business of war. Oh. Business of war. Which BMC had a humble beginning in France, but now manufactures 51.5 million firearms per year? and employs an armed force the size of Mexico and Canada's total populations combined. Arms tech. Uh, oh God. I know that one. Oh, I doubt that. Oh gosh. A? Wrong. B? The correct answer is B. Rest in peace. There he is. There's the man. You know, I'd have to say my dream project. Let your dreams drive you. There's the man. Oh, a message of hope to today's young people from David Hayter. Mm. I never actually said that. You never actually said that, David Hayter? You sure about that? So yeah, the beginning of this game's super weird because it's. I guess this is supposed to be what what you see while it's installing, I think. It's a very odd opening to a game, and I haven't seen one like this since. So well, that's a little strange. Oh, there we go. It's done. Okay. Oh, God. I'm going to try and do an all cutscene run. <laughs> this, uh, it's going to be tough. The cutscenes in this game are long. Very, very long. So, I'll try to do my best to explain some of it. But, bear with me here. Alright, hey, hey, actually, that reminds me of something. I'm gonna let this load. I'm gonna adjust the color correction on this real quick. Jesus Christ, I look like I'm brighter than the sun. It's because this game is just canned the only thing about this game is it's just hand. 
I haven't given this game enough love, honestly. I have, I've only beaten it twice, mostly because I never really had a PS3 up until I bought one way down the line. Or at least a PS3 that, you know, continued to work. My first one crapped out. I'm actually gonna hide my camo and let you guys watch until, uh, yeah, my camo, my camera. Let you guys watch the cutscene for a little bit. Alright. Talk to you when the cutscene's over. It's no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War. And its consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. War has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control, information control. Emotion control, battlefield control, everything is monitored and kept under control. War has changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. changed when the battlefield is under total control war becomes routine Alright boys, we're back. Time to get through to the cutscene free gameplay. Let's go! Oh, never mind. Alright, see you guys. We're back. Now we can actually play the game. All right, let me see what we got here. I don't think we have anything yet. Can I get through here? Um, I play this game without, uh, like, non-lethally. Or at least I attempt to. So. Oh, my God, dude. I forgot how many cutscenes this game has. Screw the camera, dude. For some of these, I'm not even going to bother. Thank you. 
Game's out, got that classic 2008 color scheme of gray and tan. That every game had, like Fallout 3. Any Tom Clancy game. Aw, oh, shit. about to be another cutscene. just died immediately got stepped on by jock giant walking mooing metal gear yep this is mgs4 actually doesn't look that bad in the pre in the stream preview luckily actually it looks way better than the regular playstation now i'm playing it on Boy, gonna get out of this one. Place for Hideo. Watermelons? What is this rising?
There he is. See, I wish the, I wish the camel worked like that, though. I wish you just blended in perfectly with everything. War has changed. Metal Gear Solid 4. Neckbeards of the Patriots. Don't have the pack anymore, eh, Snake? Konami. Bastards. Rat bastards. How dare they? I don't want to save over my previous save game. Well, it's not like it's going to matter. I'm just going to play this game all day anyways. Three days earlier. to go. You've got an old friend waiting for you. Otacon. The test results. Proteome analysis was positive. But the mRNA analysis turned up negative. The wrinkled skin, the hardened arteries. Your early aging symptoms look like classic Werner's syndrome. But none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. So... Well... Judging by how rapidly the aging has progressed, I'd say... A year at best, right? Snake, let's try another doctor. Huh. It won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention Fox Die. She was inside of us all the all. Naomi. Ah, Snake. Colonel. Good to see you. Well, I'm not a Colonel anymore, Snake. 
I figured the only place I'd see you dress like that would be at your daughter's wedding. What are you doing these days? I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. The analysis and assessment staff of the PMC Oversight and Inspection Committee. Yeah, I remember the resolution being passed a few years ago. Snake, I uh, came across some information in my work. Huh? We found him. In the Middle East. What? I'll explain along the way. We've got to stop him. Now. Before it's too late. Liquid's made his move. We found him. He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Liquid is lying in wait in a Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down. Maybe I don't want to. Uh, only two eggs today? Polidus must have taken the day off. Seven, eight, nine, two, five, nine, oh, three, six, oh, seven, three, three, oh, five, three, oh, five. Four, eight, eight, two, four, four, six, six, five, two. This is Snake. Do you read me? What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the U.S. military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned? Pretty soon, they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the Army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. Octo Camo! Yes. So the interesting about the interesting thing about this game is the way that you don't necessarily have to fight with either either side. Like if you fight alongside the PMCs here, they won't bother you. But if you fight against them, they will. Same goes with the rebels. It's super cool. Avoid unnecessary combat whenever possible. 
way ahead of you. In this war, neither side is your enemy. There's no point whatsoever in you getting into a fight. Got it? That's where you're wrong. There's every point and reason for me to get into a fight. Just gotta keep that camo rating up. That's right, just tactically slide on through. No point in rushing. I can't remember if there's a secondary way that I gotta go about doing this. I don't think so. Be patient. Ah! I was getting shot. Snake, it's gonna be tougher to break through. It might be best to avoid that area altogether if you can. Break on through to the other side. Yes, Otacon, I agree. However, I don't think I can. Big ugh. There we go. Let me see here. Alright, we got a ways to go. Dude, I just wish I wish the PS now preview wasn't so dark. Like on my like I'm I'm watching like the OBS pr uh preview to play this game right now. That gun. Huh? That gun. Where's this guy? There he is. Enemies in this game have really good healing uh, hearing. But you don't see me. You don't see me. Hostile. Get out of here. You can pick up guns dropped by both the militia and the PMCs. Remember though, PMC weapons are locked. You can't use them. If only there was some way to get rid of the locks. Yeah, if only. Okay, so we got a guy there. One guy there. Which way do we gotta go here? Straight on through. So I'm gonna wait for these two to pass. None of my stuff get moving! Behind? No, I think we're good. Dun 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 most MGS games I could usually get through without a lot of alerts, but since genuinely I have not played this game much, don't expect that. Especially since I, for the life of me, cannot... Ooh, get inside! For the life of me, it, the, the game's so dark. Who was that? Nobody. There was nobody there. Nobody at all. You're lying. You're lying to yourself. You do not see the old man in the corner here. There's nobody here. Damn straight there isn't. Turn around and go home. There you go. Alright, how much further? Okay, we're right down the street from now. Oh Who my god, that? you and your... Huh? Those should not count as alert phases. They, they saw me for half a second. 
They should have to call in for reinforcements just like the old game. Yada, yada, yada. I'm an old fan. I don't give a shit. Give me that sweet, sweet, solid eye. Keep you waiting, Snake. Allow me to introduce Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear. That's right. Just like Rex. Metal Gear Rex, you say? I don't think just like weapon. Rex. It's a little smaller. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are you? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? I'll be watching you through the Mark II. Hmm. Wish I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. I call it the Solid Eye. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. Shit's popping off here, Otacon. The rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat, at least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. Installed a suppressor, and here's a tranquilizer gun. I'd like to say to whoever is watching, I apologize. No face cam. There's a lot of cutscenes, oh, and I just didn't feel like it was very it necessary to have the face cam. The system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. It's getting tough these days finding decent guns that aren't controlled. I just want to say, if you've never played Metal Gear Solid, welcome. The series is amazing, but it is very cutscene heavy. So this is going to be a lot more like we're watching a movie. So some gameplay gameplay sprinkled in. You coming? Of course. I'll follow you wherever you go. Like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. Otacon, you couldn't have given me stealth? Button menu. Make it. this old man crawl Snake. through the Middle East. That could have just been invisible the whole time. Liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous. Bullshit. Every I've game. placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. Every 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 MGS game, Otacon's like, I have this new stealth suit that you could try. Oh wait, no, you had you just have to beat the game without Snake. being seen in it's order to kind use of it. A schlep, but I've sent you data on an alternate route. Follow the mark on your radar. Alright, I don't I wanna to try to avoid as many of these guys as possible. In the name of the game. Actually, yeah, do we use the Mark II? Let me use the Mark II. The Mark II is more than just a communication system. Okay, how do I use it? It's got a lot stealth? of other functions as well. Try taking it for a spin. See for yourself what it can do. I'm pretty sure we're good this way. You wanna make sure? Yeah, we're all good. Get back here, Mark Two. We're going on a we're going on a journey. We gotta go back the other way. I'm just gonna get on the right side of the plane here. Now the smart thing to do for me would be start shooting at those rebels. Be the smart thing. The right thing to do is to start shooting at the PMCs. 
Also, sometimes the night vision really helps in some of these areas, just because, like, off in the distance, I know for a fact there's usually a dude up in this window here, but he's not popping his head out, so I'm not sure where he's at. I just hope we can avoid these, uh, bombs. Get caught in the crossfire. Literally and figuratively. I'm not bothering anyone, I'm just a lowly snake. That's what I do. Snake. Oh god. Yeah, the aiming's gonna be horrid in this, by the way, because of the input lag. is super useful for a lot of stuff like being able to see like your enemy's health and stamina super good it's it's even better when i can actually aim <laughs> yeah working on it working on it here all right where are we going here back that way. I'm gonna take a wild guess and go underneath. The militia safe house. This looks it's like a job dark. for the solid eye. Switch the solid eye to night vision mode. Agreed. Thank you, Otacon. Wait, the militiamen don't. The militiamen don't care right now. They're friendly. I mean, I'm still gonna stay out of their way though. Last thing I need is extra eyes on me. Yeah. Sneaking, bitch. What I like to see. More regain. No, you wake up. Hey, they need reinforcements up top. You ready to roll? Yeah, I'm good. Great, let's go. Right behind you. Someone there? No, nobody's here. Nobody at all. Who's that? I'm friendly. I'm friendly, I swear. We're good. You don't have to worry about me. I'm just a man. I'm just an old, scared man. Yeah, it's just me. Go! Well, I'm working on it. Damn. PSR. Sucks that I'm not really gonna use any of these weapons. Oh yeah, there's an iPod in this game too, which is really cool. Like a fully hold on, I'll show you real quick. It's a fully functioning iPod. Damn it. I'm so used to Metal Gear games that are, uh, Circle is the, like, uh, what X would be in North America. Because they're all Japanese, but in this game they switched it up. Yeah, fully functioning iPod, by the way. Like, straight up. Like, there's a menu and everything for it. Use the right stick to, like, uh, you know, to navigate the click wheel. It's really sick. And, like, of course, everything works. I'm gonna get copyright strike if I try anything, but... It's really neat. 
It's a cool little touch. you do this to me I'm friendly man I'm not trying to hurt anybody I'm just trying to get out of the road there's a war up there did you see Ask you to shush, okay? You too. Come here. CQC. Ain't no need. Oh my god, dude. Everybody's, everybody's seeing me right now. Hey, down. Alright, I gotta take my time with this. RPG, that might come in handy at some point. Doubt it, but it might. It just might be an enemy, buddy. I'm gonna have to ask you to not. There, there's a war going on outside? How dare you be firing a weapon? What do you think this is? Huh? I think I am. Some kind of chump? Oh my god, I suck. I suck at MGS4 so much. There we go. At least we're at the ending here. That could have gone way smoother, if I'm honest. It's okay. This is a long one. This is a really long one. It's a monkey. Look at the monkey. He's drinking a soda and he's got on underwear. How can you not love it? Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> oh, hold it. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Drebin! Who are you? Neither enemy nor Neither friend. enemy nor friend. Voila. You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. But there's no need to worry, because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered. <laughs> you see, I take ID guns like what the PCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having to match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. You can call me Drebin. Drebin? Yeah. They use that for all of us. There are more of you. All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893. You ain't a registered PMC employee, are you? Consider and welcome you. Take it. Take it, Snake. Be 
GM Fork, the official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, developed from the M16 service rifle. This one's a top of the line model, real popular with the big PMCs. High precision, not like that government issue shit. It's a uh, free floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hyder CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not and I'm never bad. gonna touch it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. The frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead, give a squeeze. Hmm. Huh. I can't pull the trigger. Really? That's weird. What's weird? Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes they don't really jive with the new system. Seriously, who are you? Oh, slow down. My day job's working at AT Security. I'm in charge of production control. So I get my hands on all the ID chips before they're even registered. Have a sip. Mm -mm. I don't touch the stuff. It's a side of AT the public don't see. From the looks of it, you ain't with any state army. But you ain't exactly green. Gen nano machines. So I'm guessing former U.S. Army. <laughs> I don't know what you're here for, but you want to be well equipped, am I right? So, can we talk business or what? You won't regret it. Oh, will I? What's your take on Emoticon? I don't particularly like the guy. But it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing for us. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia, this guy really gets around. How's he pull it off, anyway? You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Can he be trusted? Remember, Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. Money! I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? Use him only to get intel and the supplies we need. Keep it strictly business. All right. If you insist. So, we ready to make a deal or what? Okay then, let's talk business. This is a war zone. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off. That'll earn you points you can cash in for service. Like what? I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. And I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Let me show you.
To ensure you can use non-ID guns, I'm gonna have to suppress the old nano machines you got in you. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Here, stick yourself with this. It's full of suppressor nano machines. Relax. It won't hurt. I'm a land farmer, motherfucker! You're scared of needles or something? Duke Vic Boss, thank you so much for the follow. Heavily appreciated. I know that's you, Kevin. What's good? It's okay. It's just drugs. Alright, no worries. Don't even worry about it. See? No sweat. Now you can use non-ID guns. No problem. Hey. Be nice to our guests. Step outside. What a dick. <laughs> there you see, no problem. From now on, when you pick up an ID gun that says locked, you just let me know. You name it, I can launder it. Of course, it'll cost you. The going rate depends on the war price at the time. Man, I gotta give this shit a rest. Yeah. Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. You might say that. What with the war economy and all, and the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now, and control's essentially absolute. Paving the way for fat profits, if you're willing to bend the law. The man keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies, and naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. And these ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Privatizing the military has made the PMCs big and bloated. The fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get real blurry. Sooner or later, the whole damn human race is gonna be green coppers. More like we're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. Proxy hey, wars. This war economy puts the food on my team. You're a green collar too, aren't you? Yeah, it's in your eyes. You've seen a lot of combat. What makes you think you know me? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. All right then. If you need me, holler. We specialize in speedy service. Catch my drift. I see. Oh, you fuck. I messed up the I messed up the punchline. Finally, I get to play the game again. Never mind. I know what you're thinking. Air is a good platform. But Revan does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Otacon, you and Drevin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? 
It's a kind of market price, one that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. <laughs> it's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are gonna get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with him. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cash. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. We should assume Drebin has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants, Rat Patrol. Rat Patrol! Grabbing point! And grab some, uh, stun grenades. And some ammo. Alright, we got plenty now. Okay. Throw these in my inventory. Get rid of the M4. Here we go. Snake, hurry and get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, you'll have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. The only way across is straight through. I'm a dumbass. I just had to adjust my monitor's brightness, and now the game looks fine. <laughs> Walls could come down any second. Are you sure about that, Otacon? I think this is all a simulation, man. Arsenal compress. I don't think I can get out this way. Which way we're going? This way. Here we go. This is gonna collapse. Like I called it, man. Through. The one thing that I do not like at all about this game is the fact that they replaced, not not necessarily that they replaced the controls, but the fact that they got rid of the ability to press yourself up against the wall. You can only kind of, you know, like, press yourself, I mean, like, with your back to it. You know, like an MGS2 and stuff. That's one of the things that I didn't really like that they changed about this game. There. They didn't? Go, go away! Hey, I'm not done them. yet! Hi, Johnny. Oh. I, oh. Oh, oh, stop! No, 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 no. Stop right there! No. Get back here! Johnny Sasaki.
Hmm. Yeah, if there is a way to... Hold on. Actually, yeah, now, now I'm curious. Let me look into the options of this game real quick. Remember first person view? Oh, I see. So you just had to press it. Oh. Oh, let's get this hidden camo right here, anyways. Did I get it? Is this the camo? The box camo? Yes, it is. The paper camo. Snake's a cardboard. He's got a stamp on his ass. Ah. Uh, here we go. I remember some of the stuff in this game. Okay, Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Your radar is marked with which way to go. See, we got militiamen running across. Okay. See if I can poke my head out and shoot this dude real quick. Hey, I got him. Actually, I think they, yeah, they spawn over there. Where do I gotta go? Straight, straight on ahead. I mean, look, I'm helping you guys, I'm helping you guys fight him. Can you guys stop being, uh, stop being hostile? I'd appreciate it. There are going to be parts in this game where I genuinely am not sure where to go. Gotta crawl under that car. I remember that much. I'm gonna go ahead and toss him. Oh, I don't want to knock. I want to throw a grenade. Ah. Stun grenades are so picky in this game. Come on, get Really, I can't aim that far over. It's a striker. The PMCs have sent reinforcements. I know it's pro I know it's more realistic, but I mean it's gonna be tougher to break through. That striker will be shooting at you too. Not like I don't have every advantage in the book here, anyway. It might be best to avoid that area altogether if you can. Yeah, you're right. It would be. Ah, sorry for. I'm a left follow, motherfucker. King's Punisher, thank you so much for the follow. Highly appreciated. Highly, highly appreciated. No, we're taking it slow here. Don't even worry about it. Okay, so I know we got one up in the window. One right here. Maybe I could, uh... Oh, there's two. Come on, why can't I... Let me throw a grenade over the friggin'... Okay. Get him? No. Ah, asshole. I'm actually surprised that I'm not getting in alert mode. Which is strange. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Sneak around the side here. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try another stun throw. Anything? I think I got one of them. Oh, there's one up in the window there. I knew there was one up there. Okay, 
Okay, so he's down. Pretty sure there's one more behind the sandbags. Although I could be wrong. Oh no, there's one up in the one up on the balcony. He's like just out of reach. I can't see him properly. Ah shit. I knew that was a crapshoot. He was gonna see me. Got this. You're lying. You didn't even see me. You can't spare any reinforcements. Damn straight you can. Okay. Let me just make sure this is still going to be the same way I'm going. Or do I want to go around? I kind of want to go around. I, I want to stay off the main street. Help me out, okay? Okay. Fine. Fine with me. Ah, there he is. The guy right here. Snake's gone on his uh his fancy suit right now. Flank him! You didn't see me. They all spawn right there. They all start hopping over the, the windows. Wait for him to pass. Oh, shit. Yeah, good thing all the soldiers in this game kind of have like a one-track mind. <laughs> I should have been spotted many times thus far. Did I go through here? No. to say going this way is going to be the smart move. This guy's right to my right, right around this corner. Oh no, he's up in this window. I'm calling him, he's definitely up in the window. Not Octo Camo. I'm not here. I promise. It's all an illusion. Oh my god. Oh, this part? Alright. Uh, I gotta remember what I do on this part. I just played it yesterday. Uh, stun grenade time. Input lags off. DMC airstrike. Oh shit, I better get my drum on. Nah, I should be fine if I sit right here. The agony, the agony of my back. 
I gotta get my fancy clothes on again. Yeah. Let me go. Oh, facing the frogs is gonna be fun. Thought I could jump over that. Actually, can I? No. There are mines in which I have to mine, though. Oh, a magazine. Certain nefarious magazine. Alright, let's get up here. Oh, that's right. Alright, where's the where are these mines at? This is where these goggles really come into handy is looking for mines. Alright, we got an arsenal compress. And of course it's comes in handy a lot during this playthrough. You can honestly play through the entire game using this solid eye. Well, maybe not if it wasn't for the uh, horrible battery. Where am I supposed to go here? I always get lost in this building. Always, always, always. I don't want to go back outside. Right? Maybe I do. Really? Really? I don't remember this at all. No. No way I go. I have to go out this way. Oh, yeah. I was right the first time. Get back inside, Snake. I don't know why the marker pointed me to right outside the door. Because I gotta go up the staircases. It's up on the top floor. I just gotta remember which staircase I need to take to get up there. Oh, it's this one. This one with the mine. Sleep darts. And claymores. Don't forget the claymores. Alright guys, just remember, if you're in a wartime scenario, and you see a claymore, just crawl right over it. You won't die. Just crawl right over it. They won't even see it. Like it was never there. Right, where is this rat patrol? Aren't they right up here? Yep, just follow the mines. And the claymores. Oops, there should be one on the staircase somewhere. No. Cutscene time. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. Look at how spiffy he looks. E easy now. <sighs> Don't move. Mm. Yeah, but you're taking the safety, the safety off, rookie. Off, rookie. Careful, I'm no rookie. What's up? I'm a ten-year vet. How you doing? I'm good. I played through like nine hours of this game yesterday just to decide that I wanted to play through it again. Survive ten years. Don't move. Metal Gear Solid's so good. Oh, I love every moment of it. See, real big boss, huh? Oh, 
I wish I was doing it on an emulator. I'm streaming it through PlayStation now because it's the only real way that I can play it. Uh, my PS3 doesn't work with my capture card, and there's a whole splitter I need to buy and I a whole bunch of hoops to jump through. You. So I'm just playing it on my PC through PlayStation now. Fox. Snake. So if you've been wanting to play through this game again, PlayStation now. Snake. Meryl. Meryl. Is that you? What happened to your face? Huh. It's the better option if you just if you're just I'm worried sorry, about playing the game, but uh I'm on a 1440p monitor and it's playing at it's oh streaming God. at 720p. So, that's kind of a bummer. Meryl, you're my informant in the U.S. military. That's whatever. They need to re-release this game. You must be the inspector sent by the U.N. It doesn't look too bad on stream, but trust me, on my monitor, it's definitely a little bit blurry. Akiba! Uh, uh, Commander! <laughs> <laughs> No. Sorry. Oh, this is Johnny. Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID, one of the bodies investigating PMC activity. First hounds, now rats. I guess that explains Here. the whole Rat Patrol you can thing have this then. Back. quota in the military that's so dumb yeah don't think about like speeding tickets and stuff with, like a humvee it's humvee been drivers four days since liquid arrived in the area where your driving privileges and i think i heard then, something about that this woman's been with him she doesn't look like a combatant probably some kind of advisor maybe a scientist Wonder who that could be. Ah. So, you're the commander of this old one. Never unit. played through this entire game with Why? the cutscenes before. Why? Something wrong with that? Just because they're so long. Here, I'll introduce you to the team. The cutscenes are long radio enough. Man and sniper. In this game, so that uh. I think near the end of the game, the first time I played it, my controller Sleeping died. Giant is Jonathan. I played a cutscene, and by the time the cutscene was over, my controller was pretty much fully charged. Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. Granted, I hate the PS3 controller, but still. And finally. Johnny. Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander, I've finished installing the sensors. <sighs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. You're all grown up. Maybe it's because I hope the audio someone is good. taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. Uh, you quit the unit. Awesome. Me? I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. <laughs> Stop being such a simp. So, what are you here for? 
threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? Boy, yeah, it has nothing to do with my twin brother, like Liquid. Me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors True. in real time every I'm just making jokes for the sake of making combat jokes. Combat action, whether he's state army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nano What I usually do in these streams. I just kind of make. I just kind of poke fun at things. Purpose. The nano machines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement this nano machine thing, actually PMCs comes in fruition. This is going to be anywhere. Sounds you quite dangerous. Nano machines and you too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nano machines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee. That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy I to forgot this game was made during the height of the Bush presidency. The or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian Right atrocities. at the end of it, rather. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they manage to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. Nanilule, no. What are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it S. They call the Patriots Lolly Lule Lo because it's the AI that controls it is a tightly guarded so secret, both at in Japan, security, where they don't have a pronunciation the for the letter L. So it's There's no way a third basically impossible to pronounce in Japanese. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway, Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the U.S. military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsoc heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, 
Disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. Rat Patrol! We've been mingling with Colonel. the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. When we reported that we'd found Liquid, our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell! Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you've got to be kidding! You expect me to work with my uncle? Barrel. This is bullshit. He's not my father. The nano machines working. Barrel. So you knew. Yeah. Little violation of the need to know rule. Then why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Meryl. He, uh, remarried. Really? His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. It's as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. Egotistical pigs. <laughs> I love snakes grumble. Commander. What is it? <sighs> There's 20 of them. And they're not from that PMC praying mantis either. It's the frog. His private troops. This is not good. Oh, oh. Uh, were you being followed? No. Akiba! Uh, they might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Up ahead. I'll fill you in later. Product placement. Still alive. Buy the new oh. MacBook.
Eye contact. These guys are with Liquid's private army. Shoot first, think later. Yeah. We'll use the stairs and get out through the back door on the first floor. <laughs> we'll change the route as necessary. I'm on point. Stay close. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Akiba, breathe deep. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. <laughs> Move! Damn, way to let me get shot immediately. I usually just let uh, the rapid throw kill a lot of them. Give me that sweet driving point money. Well, you coming? Come on, team. Gotta be a group effort here. Let's go, Meryl. guys don't have third person view mode actually wait real quick what does auto aim do will this help me out what happens with auto aim on just curious just curious i just want to see I notice no difference. Did it not did it not stay on? Oh, it's on. Hey, three for one. Look at me go. Pro strats here, guys. Oh! Pull the sneaky out. Ow! I'm gonna have to ask you to quit it. I'm gonna have to. You're gonna have to stop. This is not how this is supposed to go. I am supposed to be the one that gets all the kills. You are supposed to be the one that dies. It's a relationship made in heaven. It's Valentine's Day. Work with me. Oh my god, dude. Ah, the input lag here is just... It's impressive. It's just enough to not make, like, actually traversing the map a pain. Just the part where, you know, I have to shoot people. Like, fine aiming with this? No bueno. Where the hell is everybody? Guys, move up. We're good. Come on. You're all right, Meryl. Figure it out. Clear. Clear. I'm trying to remember if I stay still if my health will regen. I don't think it will on harder difficulties, but still. Would be nice to have. Alright, round three. Come on, Meryl. There's nobody here. Already cleared it out. Contact! 
sake. You thought. through the whole game just using stun grenades probably honestly can it's most of the game it just makes for a quite a quite an annoying experience hearing nothing but a ringing On the map. That's okay. Alright, we ready to we ready to move out? Are there any more? I think so. I think there's more. Can't go that way. At least not yet. Where's this last frog unit I gotta worry about? There it is. Super soldier with my ass. Can't hear an old man running towards you. Ah. Sorry. I'm just keeping you alert. Sorry, you should have got out of the way. My apologies. Oh, 
Ah, I can throw him back, asshole. I was going to pick those up. Be fine. Oh, oh, jump yeah. already. <laughs> ah. There you go. There you go, partner. Figured it out. Badass. Badass. Psych, you thought. The nanomachine network inside each unit member's body lets us share each other's senses. They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. I would say. Is that part of the system, too? I assume getting SOP, shot is painful. My team can literally operate as one. <laughs> I can only imagine. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? <laughs> I'm no hero. Never was. Never, was. Was. Never will be. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. You're correct. But Wrong, actually. Your body. Are you gonna be alright? This getup doubles as a muscle suit. I can still get around. Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Akiba! One man's blunder. 
can compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, I don't know, man. Commander. We've had diarrhea for about six months now, and we're uh. fine. Be careful, Snake. Yeah, I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self-assured. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. It even beats that VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You'd think so? That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy... ...he didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Meryl. <sighs> Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Meryl told us, Liquid should be there. Okay, time Can't to head to the surface. Alright, back to sneaking. I like to hearing a child cry. Even have to kill anybody to win this war. Come on, move them on up. Never mind, everybody's dying. Are you getting sniped? Who's killing you? I don't see any snipers. Oh, no. Some of these dudes right in front of us. Oh, chill out! Wow. Okay. Snake. Snake. I got one over. Maybe that was my bad. Damn it! I didn't want to die. I'm having a pretty good run. 
Right, let's try that again. without the night vision. die via random explosion again. Ben would kill me. Get caught if everybody's asleep. They're still spawning there. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. I lied, I lied, I lied. I don't want it. I don't want none. I don't want none. I lied. This has not gone well. This is a good spot to farm some gravity points. meter here a plus for effort thank you I appreciate it I know it ain't easy being 78 what's going on out there wait for my stress to lower just a little bit just a little bit gain some health back I don't know why snake just likes it inside of that barrel Gives him comfort. It reminds him a home. Yeah. 
big snores. Alright, who else is shooting there? Oh, okay! Dude, the respawning enemies in the game are ridiculous. Like, where did this dude come from? I gotta get up on the roof. That's what I gotta do. Can I traverse the map via the roof? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, don't tell me it's just these couple spots. Where am I even going? Yeah, I gotta go down the alleyway and to the left. I see. Whoa, a javelin! Holy shit! I thought it was in the game. Got an M14 that I can't grab for some reason. There we go. All the money. Give me all the money. Alright. Gotta do this carefully. <laughs> can't do that slide thing, which sucks. I'm actually gonna buy some ammo real quick while I got a minute. Picked up a good amount of, uh, good amount of driven points thus far. And a little bit of, uh, stun grenades and such. Alright, we have 97 stun grenades. We should be fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, so we got guys at this corner spot again. Yep. So they're gonna get a stun grenade to take them out. Yes. Oh, it's over. Excellent. Well, there we go. At least this, the enemy didn't spawn in that time. That's a good thing. Let's just make it to this objective and call this mission over. Oh, it's not over yet. But I digress. like hell no see he's got the right idea get the hell out of here this is the beast.
Ouch. Puppy, puppy. Here, puppy, puppy. Bray Fox. It was quite the show. Let us continue. Money, money, money. Money, money. gotta go here continue on that way oh we could take the long way i think would be the smart decision no wait we're almost near the end of chapter one already oh shit okay so It's okay. We'll be fine. I just want you leading. There must be, like, civilians nearby if there's infants crying. Oh, a suppressor. Anything else in any of these lockers? Hey, I'll gladly take more anesthetic rounds. Alright, nice shot. A box! one continue that chapter that's not too bad for someone who never plays this game Pick up my poop, Brian. Autocar. Wait here.
Who could it be? Snake, you're here to kill Liquid, aren't you? That's the mission. Are you going to stop me? My mission is to inspect the PMCs. I'm not in a position to take action. All I can do is stand by and watch. I can't help you, understand? I'm a peacekeeper, here to keep order. Understood. Activate it! how people react to my dad jokes in real life. need this back sass from you, okay? <laughs> Brother! It's been too long. This is when the melatonin kicks in. For the Benadryl. Liquid. Me attempting to do my daily tasks. Stay awake. After taking allergy medicine. After all. The shackles of fate. Snake. Brother. We are free. Watch. Snake. Watch. As I surpass my own order. 
waifu? We're done. Hey, I got no kills. I'm cool with that, though. Uh, alert phases could have been better. Oh, we're finally done with chapter one. All right. <laughs> At least we don't have to worry about the game having to install like it was on the original PS3. Play it all through quote unquote emulation and streaming, so we don't we could just skip all the all the install. Thank God. That was the worst part about this game. <laughs> Just waiting. Every chapter, it wouldn't install, like, all of the game on its own, because the game is so huge, so it would just go chapter by chapter. God, the mission briefings are long. We'll mess around in the Mark II, though. We'll make it work. Good job, Sonny. not Japanese at all. Um, Uncle How? The, the eggs? They're done. Thank you, Sonny. Uh, Snake! Oh. So, back from the dead? Mm, I remember the sun being so flat. Hmm. 
I'll dig in right away, Sonny. <laughs> and would you make some for Snake, too? Okay. Uh, uh, hey. Not for me, Sonny. Mm. Oh, shit. Whole day. How do I get in the mark too? <sighs> Someone saved my life. Yeah. Could have been Meryl and her boys. There we go. Don't we go through the whole cutscene while also being fine. in the mark too. Oh, you can watch the, the actual cutscene. Go look around for Easter eggs and stuff. I think there's stuff you can grab. Police okay. knots. Another Hideo Kojima <laughs> game. I'm uh, not sure which game this is on the right. Anubis. It's normal. It's not like a character from that game. It's pretty sweet. There's a lot of like little <laughs> hidden stuff in this game to look forward to. Like the Otacon sync from MGS2. I thought it might be a uh, oh, That's right. I want to say from. Well, frankly, I have no idea. You were lucky. Some of those guys' hearts. Noodles? Don't mind if I do. And iPod music. Otacon, did you see her? No, but you're right. Naomi was there. I found traces of her DNA in that syringe you were holding. So it was Naomi. Why? Here, let me show you something. Right after it all happened, I got a video mail from Naomi. It was sent to my old address. Aim it, Sonny. This was one of the first games to have a uh, seamless cutscene transition. Thanks, Sonny. They're delicious. <laughs> but you haven't even eaten any. Um, <laughs> uh, we grown ups uh, to watch our caloric intake, you know. Ah, oh, but thank you. I was looking for this. You're not watching your n -n nicotine intake. Yes, Sonny, show him. Sonny. <sighs> you really hurt her feelings. Yeah. Why don't you teach her how to cook eggs then? Oh, like I know how to cook. Hey, check this out. The data's been quarantined, no viruses. The voice print matches Naomi's, and I'm fairly confident the video isn't digitally synthesized either. Snake, I'll make this quick. Oh. I'm in South America. I've been captured and forced to do research. It's liquid. Liquid's goal is to seize control of SOP. Sons of the Patriot system that controls the soldiers. To do that, he needs to analyze the nanomachine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. Game takes a lot of explaining. The nanomachines <laughs> currently in use by militaries and PMCs are third generation. But their design is derived from that of the first generation. And the basic technology is still the same. First generation? I was the one who created the first generation. A nanomachine colony, part of which was Fox Die. Nine years ago, at Shadow Moses, I injected it into your body, Snake. The technology used in Fox Die was incorporated, inherited, really, by SOP. That's why Liquid has me helping him hijack the system, because I know how Fox Die works. Remember that was the original teaser for the game. Get into the system. 
to release this video. Preparations for his insurrection are nearly complete. There's no time to waste. Snake, hurry! Naomi sent her location data in a separate file. What the hell is that? It's a type of encrypted data. Sunny decoded it for us. Remember now? This is data from the Soliton radar you used at Shadow Moses. Is that I'm Shadow Moses? Naomi wants us to know the message truly is from her. Sending the map data in Soliton radar format. Pretty clever. And Mei Ling's helping us out from Hawaii. Mei Ling. The, the data she sent was 4D sound data. I, I don't know how Soliton radar works, but all I had to do was change the audio data into video data. It was easy. This Naomi lady seems pretty cool. Yeah, she's real cool. She <laughs> injected me with a virus that's going to kill me. It's Campbell. <laughs> Eventually. Snake, as you'll recall, following the Shadow Moses incident nine years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah, I hear they added that to my rap sheet, too. I suspect it was actually liquid. He must have taken her prisoner himself and forced her to do research at his facility in South America. Chances are, the location Naomi gave us is the site of Liquid's main base. But there's no actual probe. There's an ongoing skirmish between the new regime put into power by PMCs and a rebel army formed by remnants of the old one. The Rebels have hired a small-scale local PMC of their own to stir things up. It's the quintessential example of a war economy market. The new regime is still in shambles, so it's really pure Ramamon, one of the PMCs <coughs> under Outer Heaven control, that's calling the shots. You might say it's a perfect place for Liquid to make his haven. Or it could be a trap. True, but even so, the payoff would greatly aid our efforts. I had Sunny trace the origin of Naomi's mail. The address is fake, but Sunny was able to track the message back through its proxies based on access date timestamps and data transfer volumes. Apparently, the message originated from a server in South America. I wouldn't exactly call it 100% credible, though. Colonel. Where's Meryl? Oh, I know she left the Middle East in pursuit of Liquid. I'm sure our sock is on to us by now. We can't chase that line too far. Huh. Which leaves Naomi as our only lead. I secured you landing clearance at El Dorado International Airport. You'll be acting as a UN inspector. South America. That's about 20 hours from here. Then what's the plan? I'll arrange for them to get you a 4x4. Four four. The location Naomi gave us, the PMC's base, is in a mountainous region surrounded by forests. Use the 4x4 four four to get as close as possible to the PMC security perimeter. From there on, Snake, it'll be a solo sneaking mission. You don't say! A solo sneaking <clears throat> mission? Rebels are still pitched in battle against the PMCs. The commotion should help you slip into the facility unnoticed. 20 hours until we land. Got it. I'll have a look at the documents. Maybe I'll even have a smoke while I still can.
It's over! Jesus Christ. I told you the cutscenes of this game are long. <laughs> oh, they're ridiculous sometimes. I enjoy them, though. I've, I haven't actually watched through this whole game, so it's good to have, like, a really good understanding on this. Instead of just having to play through the game enough times to where I'm just like, oh. Because this game, a lot of these games are cutscene. Very cutscene heavy. Solid Sun. Patriots, you mean? The data we got from Arsenal Gear was a load of crap. Twelve founders who have all been dead for a hundred years. Give me a break. We know they exist today. No! The purpose of this battlefield control system is to control <laughs> IDs. It fits in with their plans perfectly. Seizing yeah. control of the world's ID systems and then using them to manipulate the economy and information Yoink. flow for the Patriots. <laughs> That's the ultimate. I can't believe you're still watching. I figured you most people would have been bored to death at this point. Of the war economy. Everything that Solidus feared five years ago. This game's basically a really pass. long movie. The Patriots are trying to protect Solidus. their power, their own interests, by controlling like bugging me? Fair enough. I appreciate the buggery. Now, with the media and global opinion under complete control, not even the UN can stand up to them. Then Liquid's insurrection is against them. Exactly. It would seem as though Liquid has taken up Big Boss's cause. An age of persistent universal warfare. A world where mercenaries are free from domination. In a sense, the outer heaven Big Boss envisioned is already a living reality. You mean the PMCs? In their war business. Right now, Liquid is a slave to the Patriots, forced to fight their proxy wars for them. He must be dying to break free of their spell. Beneath the surface, a new Cold War is brewing between Liquid and the Patriots over who will survive. And no matter who wins, the world has no future. Until we stop Liquid and destroy the system, we'll never be free. Snake, what we call peace, is an equilibrium kept in check by the war economy. Destroying the system means wiping out the information society, the end of modern civilization. Like it or not, we may have no choice but to protract the system. Snake, here's what we know about the current battle. Rebel guerrilla units are advancing on the base of the government PMC troops. That base appears I love Metal Gear. to be Liquid's safe house. Every now and then I get Naomi's excited data, to play it. She's being like, held super excited. Inside the compound. That's where she is. Assuming the data is correct. And one more thing. What now? The government PMC troops have been operating at high altitudes. We have reports that it's starting to upset the balance of the nano-machine control system. Meaning? Meaning the low blood oxygen content seems to have an effect on their nano machines, giving them a slight. You're meaning to play Metal Gear? Um. Be careful. Steer clear of altitude sickness. The first Guys. couple are very Japanese in control. They they control really weird. I'm used to it, but just just a forewarning. Five. There's way less cutscenes. A lot more about gameplay. But the first one through four are all like this. really recommend at least you don't have to watch all the cutscenes like i'm doing but just some of them just to keep up on what's going on because otherwise it won't really make much sense not that metal gear ever does like um you notice every now and then i'll get these button prompts in the top right corner like what just happened and then pictures will pop up that was from metal gear solid too there's a lot of uh backtracking and stuff going on Oh, my God. 
It's definitely a series where it's like you kind of need to you need to do a little bit of research to understand what's going on. Like obviously, this octopus lady is a master of disguise. Why she looks like snake? Thick snake, but snake. Oh yeah, that's the worst. Leave one. Don't forget this face. This is the face of the bastard who kills your comrades. Untrue, I haven't killed anybody in this game thus far. If I was gonna start with one, by the way, I'd recommend three because it's the first one chronologically. He must be among their numbers. Sooner or later, he will come. Don't let down your guard. Was very... Yeah, like Star Wars. I'm sure of it. Kind of. I'll never it's, forget it's weird. that face. Hard Those to were PMC soldiers with him. Is he involved in Liquid's plan? We watched him die in Manhattan. Damn it, he won't leave us alone. Snake, could Vamp be immortal? Not a chance. This is the real world, not some fantasy game. Ah, I you only knew. The next time he shows up. Not now, Otacon. Right. I know. Snake, according to satellite imagery procured by Mei Ling, the facility where Naomi's being held is to the north, along a mountain road. I'm sending the location to your map. Mei Ling? What's she up to these days? Taking command of the Missouri, apparently. The Missouri? That's a World War II battleship. The museum contract in Hawaii expired some time ago. I hear it's now being used as a virtual training vessel. No kidding. Not for actual combat training, of course, but rather to get sailors used to seamanship on an analog vessel. Or so I hear. After the mess at Shadow Moses, Mei Ling kind of got put out to pasture. Hmm. Even so, making captain at her age, that's pretty impressive. Rumor has it she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral who got her promoted. She always did have a thing for older men. Hmm. Maybe it's too early to retire after all. Thinking of taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? Huh. No. At this point, I've got no need for any more training. Fair enough. Listen, Snake. When you get there, remember, the conflict between the PMCs and the Rebels has nothing to do with your mission. There's no reason for you to get involved or take sides. That said, creating some sort of impact on the battlefield could produce better conditions for sneaking. The Rebels are targeting the facility being used by the PMCs as a base. This is more or less the same spot where Naomi's being held. If you aid the Rebels, they might get rid of some of the PMCs and help carve a path for you to sneak in. That's the plan. That freak I just saw with the tentacles. Was it using the same octo camo system as my suit? Yeah. I thought that technology was of your own design. Um, actually, I kind of based it on some design Sonny snagged off the net. And the data came from? DARPA. Huh. 
So in other words, we're on equal ground technologically. Sorry, I guess I should have told you. And by the looks of things, they know I'm coming too. Yeah, it could be a trap. Stay sharp. Okay. Oh my god, gameplay again? Head for the research lab where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. Okay, so these guys are all PMCs. Stand up. Take this guy out first. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move. Oh. Fire. Back me up. There's something wrong. Support unit. Confirm their status. Okay, are they all down? Careful. Think we're good? These guys, I think those are bad guys. Yep. All right, let's. Try to sneak just a little bit. So we gotta head to the north, I believe, right along this route, right? Okay, so let's keep this up. I'm just gonna grab a camo. You didn't see anything. Hey. It usually works. Oh, shit. it off this tree. Nope. Okay. We've got company. Shit. Very nice. Why did I have to stare right at it? I'm a genius. Okay, these guys are friendly. Alright, cool. This is one of the nice things about this game is like there's so many enemies but you pick a side you cut your enemies in half because they're like well he's they're shooting oh whatever i guess he's on our side if you're not gonna ask questions i won't okay so all right i gotta get up on this ledge all right, if i remember correctly there should be a spot 
Uh, where is it? Hi. Is that an enemy? Shh. Oh, that's friendly. I won't tell if you don't. Oh, what now? Snake, there's someone I'd like you to meet. A member of the mission staff. A psychological counselor. Psychological counselor? A lot of soldiers can't handle the stress of battle. End up panicking. She'll be useful in helping you understand the mindset of both the PMC and rebel soldiers. She? Rosemary. Nice to meet you, Snake. This is Rosemary. She used to work as a data analyst at the Pentagon, but moved to combat support during the Big Shell incident. Uh, yeah. She was in charge of Jack's files, wasn't she? After that, she studied psychology. And now she's a counselor with CSP, the Combat right Stress Platoon. Yeah, I hear psychological counseling's the hot field these days. Increased combat efficiency and productivity. All without ever picking up a gun. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. Will Since you the know. passing of the new millennium, one of the most important issues facing today's military is the mental care of its soldiers. I can also provide advice on soldier psychology from a threat assessment perspective. Contact me anytime. I'll be standing by here at home with Roy, but I'm on a different circuit. The frequency is 147.79. Her advice will have a positive effect on your psych gauge. Survival on the Quit battlefield just cut her depends off, on your Campbell. psychological well-being. Lose your cool and your body stops doing what you tell it to. By the way, fun Even fact. A veteran soldier like you. The know. voice actor Mind, for uh, body, for Campbell here is Some the dad, or the uncle, the, the grandpa from when Ben 10. Is running low, ask Same guy. Advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and focused on the mission. By the way, Colonel, isn't that your house? Well, yes. Then the woman you married, the one that Meryl was talking about. Is Rosemary, yes. Didn't I tell you before? News to me. What about Jack? Jack. Jack, from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember him being engaged to Rose. Oh. We lost all trace of him. Jack's gone. What did you know? I used to work with the guy. He saved Sonny from the Patriots. He disappeared soon after that. What about you? Jack disappeared and you just moved in on Rose? I was consoling her over her loss. And one thing just led to another. She's young enough to be your daughter. Yeah. Lucky me, huh? Oh, God. <laughs> now I see why Meryl was so disgusted. Meryl said something about me. Master Roshi. Yeah, I believe her words were, I'll never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. I see. Colonel, you knew she was our informant in the Middle East, didn't you? Was it you who put her up to it? Yes. I used my connections in the army to get Meryl the job. You wanted your daughter someplace where you could keep an eye on her. Look, everybody involved in the incident at Shadow Moses either lost their job and status, or in the case of Meryl and Mei Ling, got brushed aside. Meryl wanted to make a comeback, a difference. We can't all be as strong as you, Snake. Some of us can't bear living like pariahs. Huh. Since Shadow Moses, I've been branded a criminal. I think of it as my own small way of making it up to my daughter. My own flesh and blood. Shadow Moses was case, the mission from the first Metal Gear Solid, by the advice. way. I know you probably knew that. I'm just trying to do some uh, explanations. Ah, 
Ah, we don't need it. These guys are all friendly. Who? What are you doing here? Hanging out. I'm not shooting you, am I? Didn't think so. Now, if you'll excuse me. What? Take him out. What? Right at the back of his head. Explosion. HQ, do you. This is HQ. We're being attacked. Enemy position on us. What happened? Hands up. There's something wrong. You Support you. Dead. Confirm their status. You guys are going to get some business here in a minute. Might want to move out. Ooh. Just saying. What was that for? You moved in front of me, man. Hey. We have company. Take him out. Fire. We have company. You hit. Launch a stun that way. Is that the only route? No, we're coming from behind, so I should be good this way. The hunter becomes the hunted. We've got company. We're going through to the other side. Guys, I'd just like to say I appreciate all of the feedback and anything, anybody that chats in here, I always appreciate hanging out with you guys. Thank you, thank you. Who is this? Snake. That voice. There's an ambush ahead. Government and PMC troops. You could be shot from anywhere. Watch your surroundings. Look to the distance. Is this... Jack? Jack is dead. Snake. I'm at your side. Wait. Who could that have been? Wait, are these more rebels? Yes. Alright, we're good. Guys, there's an ambush ahead. Don't worry, I'm taking point. Let's go! Oh, it was Let's you! Go! Yeah, it's Let's me. Go. Sniper! Gotta take some long range shots here. Ow. Yeah. It's almost like I've done this before. I miss an uh, MGS 2 and 3. You could, like, uh, get up on your toes, like, in first-person mode. You like, get up on your tippy toes, push down both shoulder buttons. Didn't really need to take that out of the game, but whatever. 
We're going nowhere. Working on it. Now you get to move up. I'm going. I hit both of them. Back me up. We got company. Ah, shit. Who saw me? Oh. See what I mean? They just spawn in like the random spot on the back of the map. Who else has their sights set on me? Damn right you can. Now if you don't mind me, I'm just gonna sneak around your base. how I feel after a shower. Yo, keep over here. Drop it. You. Come on, hop in. It's getting rough out there. I don't think so. Was mine. We meet again. You've been following me. You seem like an interesting guy, so I decided to check you out. Sit down. A lot of legends about you out there in the intel community, especially in. Especially in the CIA. You know those nano machines I injected you with back in the Middle East? They let me track your location. <laughs> Figures. The B and B's are here. Things are about to get hairy. B and B's. You never heard of them? Beauty and the Beasts. They're Beauty and the Beast. Together they're called the B and B Corps. They're a squad of enhanced female soldiers, belong to the PMCs. Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. That's a female. Probably freelancers hired Spoken by like PMCs. a true neckbeard. They run out of a separate parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Drevin to let you in on a few things. Ever since you showed up in the Middle East, the B&B Corps has got orders to kill. Their number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. A guy named, uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, Old Snake seems a little more appropriate. 
How old, huh? Cheer up. That's the bad news. Word on the street says that beneath those ugly ass suits, the B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. Bad news. They weren't even soldiers to begin with, you know. More like victims of war. They suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post-traumatic. It damaged their minds pretty much beyond repair. So the only way they could cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. The remnants of their human side are buried deep within. The beast, that's what you see on the outside. War transforms a snake into beasts. shell, something human survives. A fragile, scarred heart. Without a shell to protect it, it's like the yolk of an egg. Word going round is their natural flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. And they've been convinced that by killing Snake, their minds will be cleansed. They think it's gonna free them from all the pain and all the fury and all the sorrow. Which makes saw three references or references with killing you. Four B and B's have been identified so far. The one you just saw was Raging Raven. There's also Laughing Octopus, Master of Mimicry, and Crying Wolf. She runs on four legs. And finally. The mistress of mind control, Screaming Mantis. Mantis? Yeah, there used to be a guy by that name in the U.S. military. A Russian psychic. He could control people's minds. I guess she inherited the title. She keeps the other B&B's minds in check with her powers. Octopus. Raven. Wolf. Mantis. You got it. They're the snake hound. You in their sights. <laughs> Shadow Moses. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Drubbin. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. Are you with the Patriots? No, sir. I ain't no Lale Lule. <laughs> I mean, I know Patriot. <sighs> You could say Patriot. I guess that means you're clean, right? The nano machines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. What the hell are these Patriots? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. They're what holds this world together, keeps this whole mess in check. MGS2 weirdness. The Patriots are America, the world's greatest military power. They are the war economy, which makes you and me just cogs in a much grander schematic. I mean, someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning, but now their law has taken on a life of its own. A life of its own? Yep. The country, the war economy, it ain't run by people. It's run by the system. No need for high-level decision-making authority. It's all handled by a massive, yet simple information processing system. An AI. Hmm. It works just like natural law. I know these, the these cutscenes can definitely drag on for a bit. Folks realize.
Every aspect of the Patriot system is closely monitored by three peripheral AIs and a core AI that ties them all together. The SOP system is one part of that. It's all backed up by a foolproof control system. So not even yours truly can sneak inside the Patriot's AIs. What if, hypothetically, someone found a way? If they could fool the IDS. I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Haven? You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens. A haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the super rich would open bank accounts in countries without income tax laws. Not a bad way to evade paying taxes. Now we've got us a society where everybody's DNA and personal info is totally controlled by the nanomachines inside their bodies. Won't be long before people start using havens to escape from ID control. I guess you could say my gun laundering kind of borrows from the haven concept, after a fashion. Even so, good luck finding a way to access the Patriots' AIs from the outside. It's absolutely impossible. No chance in hell. Like I said, there's no breaking into those AIs from the outside. But Liquid's got something in mind. You sure there's no way? <laughs> I'm just a gun launderer. Only reason I'm interested in you is because you start a lot of fires. All right, then. You need me? Just give me a ring. No, no smoking for you. Go on. Get your ass back inside. Now! You. All right, now I can finally play the game. <laughs> like that episode of South Park where they uh, they spend the whole they spend the whole episode uh, trying to kill that guy and wow, and then at the end when they finally like grind enough and finally defeat him, Cartman's just, or Stan's like, so what now? And Cartman's like, what do you mean? But now we can right now we can finally play the game. Go like, oh, yeah. I really do. Alright, there should be two guys coming up here. Yep. Got him. Nice. Oh, the cigarettes actually do, funny enough, uh, do something in this game. And uh, if you notice, there's a bar right below my health bar. And that bar is your psyche in this game, or your stress. When your stress is high, you get your shakier and stuff. And, uh, you know, obviously... Snake has a nicotine addiction, so if you smoke them, you notice your stress goes down. So does your health. Not to mention the fact that enemies can also smell it sometimes. It's interesting. Game's got game has a lot of detail for a game from 2008, 2007 maybe. Snake, can you hear me? This is Jack, isn't it? I am Raiden. Jack is no more. Where are you now? I'm right beside you. Raiden, where have you been all this time? What have you been doing? On a mission. Finding something. For someone. Finding what? The corpse. Of Big Boss. Big Boss? What? I was asked to do this in exchange for Sonny's location. But we know where Sonny Liquid? is. No. The leader of a small resistance group. Her followers call her Matkapluku. Matkapluku? 
Big Mama. <clears throat> we'll finish this later. I'll follow your trail and catch up with you. Yeah, that'd Wait. be a good idea. What about Big Boss's body? It's with her now. Her. What's going on, Snake? Rose, I just got a call from Raiden. It sounds like he's close by. Jack? Yeah. Did... did he seem okay? Yeah, as far as I could tell from his voice. Really? Well, that's great. Snake, I have a favor to ask. What? Don't let him know I'm involved in this operation, okay? I think it would be best to just leave him alone for now. What happened between you and Jack? After the Big Shell incident, he became unstable. Memories began to resurface from his childhood when he fought for Solidus in the Liberian Civil War. And in the midst of all of that, the baby we had together, it, it hadn't even been born yet. Jack slowly stopped coming home. And when he did, he'd be dead drunk, sometimes covered in cuts and bruises. Roy was worried. He was Jack's commanding officer. But Jack just avoided him. I was all alone. And Roy was so kind to me. He's the one who encouraged me to become a counselor. I know it sounds like I'm making excuses, but I needed to get over it. To move on with my life. I'm worried about him, of course, but I'm also afraid of him. All right. I'll keep my mouth shut. Thank you, Snake. Good guy, Snake. Now, Snake, why is your stress still going up? Huh? Do you need to sit in your drum? I think you need to sit in your drum. Oh, that's why your stress is going up. I know, those are the rebels. We're fine. Alright, sit in your drum. Calm down. We're fine. Don't need to go senile on me. In a magazine or something? I think I got some, uh... I think I got some reading material in here for you somewhere. No. Surprisingly, no. I don't. Never mind. Shh. Gotta move up slowly. Now, if I remember correctly, what I did in this part is go right to the swamp. That helicopter will shoot you. Knocked out. That guy. That guy. I just gotta hope the helicopter. I don't think I can hit that guy. Maybe I need a drum to buy them. It could definitely help. I recommend buying your own oil drum for therapeutic reasons. Okay, how do I just kind of... Okay, let's get into the swamp. I like to hide and crawl kind of through here at least. my breath for a second there. Why is my camo not changing? 
How did you hear? How did you hear that guy go? We got a hostel. He didn't get lied. What about you? Are you gonna move? Probably equip the solid eye, shouldn't I? Is he shooting upon their own? for a truck to ram this down? I think I might. I think I might have to wait for uh, the Rebels to move on up. Notice the gunfire? Back me up. Alright, pick up some guns, you two. Back in the fight. Can't hurt me while I'm in the drum. Oh, there is there is a route I can take over this way. I gotta figure out how to get back to it. Ah, 
Yeah, he'll go down. I think I was supposed to go around back this way. Oh my god, enough with this! There's one around the back. I'll have to deal with this. guys aware of the gigantic firefight going on behind you? By Ooh, chance? What are you doing here? Um, just hanging out. Oh, you guys have fun with that. Let's go. Over there. Over there. Careful. Careful. I'm just gonna do some sneaking. Gotta go up or to the right. Over there! Friendly. Are these also friendlies? I believe so. No, that's not a that's not a friendly. That means none of these guys are friendly either. <laughs> Whoops. Well, since I'm back here, help out the local cause a little bit. Get rid of that sniper. Snake, the rebels have got an armored dozer. They're probably going to use it to bust their way into the mansion. You don't say. Give it some cover and it might get you inside the compound. Suppressing fire! Charge! Yeah, no, I understand that. I, I mostly just like playing this game without killing anybody. It's just kind of the way I've always played it. I understand it's not the, the way that I'm supposed to be playing it, but... Naomi's lab is somewhere inside those mansion We're just, gonna, just trying to sneak around, not kill anybody as much as possible. Just trying to have some fun. Not too worried about, uh... 
Stuff like that on these playthroughs. Oh, sorry, teammate. I say teammate. I need to get inside. They're gonna start spawning along the right hand side of this. I know that for a fact. They Yeah, I'm not sure. I just figured it'd be better to be safe than sorry. Hey, the hell's shooting me? There's nobody here. There's nobody here. I don't need to. Okay. No! I'm not here. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Promise. I don't exist. I'm also all for itself in this game because I haven't played it enough. Alright, so we can pull in the stairwell here. I got one of them. I don't think I got the other. Oh, that one blinds me? The other one doesn't? Hell yeah. I played through a bit of this uh, yesterday. I decided to restart it, so. I got a, a little bit of knowledge. Not a lot, but a little bit of knowledge. Up to an extent. I got to the Raging Raven battle at the end of Act 3. I haven't... Past that, I haven't played the rest of the game in like 10 years. In all honesty. So this beauty fight's gonna be interesting. If I remember correctly, there shouldn't be anyone in these caverns. I'm gonna grab everything. Just, just cause why not? It says the coolest music in the game. Yeah, this part of the game is really short. My first playthrough yesterday, it took me like two or three hours, but now that I kind of know where I'm going, it shouldn't take me too long. The only reason it would take me this long to begin with is just because of a uh, cutscene. We're about three and a half hours in now. Yes, that's right. We'll need it for us. That one. Uh huh. Yes. And things on your end? I see. You're on schedule here as well. I know. Me too. 
until then. <laughs> Snake. I knew you'd come. You and I, neither of us can escape our fate. I haven't seen you since Shadow Moses. <clears throat> My apologies, I'm back. Years? But yeah, I. Uh... And Dr. Emmerich. It was the one thing I didn't really like about Five, if I'm honest. Well, I like I like these games being super cutscene heavy. Might be the only one able to open the mail I sent. Not many people could recognize. Five's good, but I wouldn't consider it a really good Metal Gear game. I consider it a good stealth action game. Hundred percent, very fun. Otacon's fine. He's the same as ever. Otacon? Even if the game isn't finished. Thank you. I can't believe you're still watching. Liquid. I know I already said that, but jeez. <laughs> this is a lot of cutscenes. From a medical standpoint. I thought he was here. He's not. Saw it. At the moment. An octopus afoot. You are a trooper, for real. Where are all the guards? Kudos to you, no pun intended. They know I won't escape. Actually, no, I'm pun intended. to resist. I have no choice but to cooperate. What happened in the Middle East? What you saw was the soldiers' emotions run amok. Another product of the system. You don't trust me? I'm not sure yet. And if I answer your question? Let's hear it first. Liquid. We thought the SOP was an ID control system designed primarily to maintain order and control in battle. Huh. And we were right. But only partially. SOP had another function. Control people's senses. The nano machines inside soldiers' bodies adapt to different conditions, promoting the release of neurotransmitters, hormones, and stimulants, giving them an edge in battle. They can create an artificial combat high by releasing endorphins at the same time a soldier kills an enemy. Or they can suppress hormones to neutralize the soldier's emotions prevent them from panicking and engaging in friendly fire or needless massacres. It's all controlled by the system's core AI. It artificially controls the soldier's pain, emotions, senses, in other words, the essence of his being. The skyrocketing demands of the war economy have fueled the demand for more soldiers and more fighting. This in turn led to the development of technologies to rapidly improve their combat abilities and control their actions. The system ensures a steady supply of battle-optimized soldiers at a minimum of cost. But you, of all people, must understand, Snake, that unlike combat technique, a soldier's senses can't be taught. They must be earned through experience. Does this have something to do with that test of yours? The goal was to release the soldiers' nanomachines from the system. But we didn't know about the mental control. And the nanomachines went berserk? No. Our test was a success. At least, it confirmed our hypothesis at the time. Just as we predicted, the nanomachines stopped functioning, and the PMC soldiers were freed from the grips of the system. But the moment the system stopped, all the pain and fury and sorrow, all the trauma and stress, all the hatred, regret, guilt, all the sensations that had been suppressed, 
were unleashed within their hearts. Their memories, unlike their senses, weren't erased. Each enemy soldier they'd killed, each lost comrade, each threat of violence against the innocent, every act of war they'd committed was etched firmly in their hearts. In suppressing the user's mind, the nanomachines exact a heavy burden on his heart. The user's body rejects the nanomachines. This reaction must then be suppressed with drugs. Before the user knows it, his mind is in complete shambles. Snake. Remember Frank? Frank Yeager. Gray Fox. They twisted his body for their experiments and nullified his broken heart with nanomachines. SOP has taken it even further and applied it to living human beings. The sins of war these soldiers carried inside them returned to assault them in the form of unimaginable shell shock. The meaning in the system may have changed. Battlefield hasn't. Until that point, there's over eight and like a half a hours of cutscene in this game, by and the way. Suddenly, Wait, what the hell? Came crashing down. That was weird. Didn't I never noticed the game broke the fourth wall there? Ordinarily, our hearts are hardened through experience. Even the most grizzled veterans live with an inescapable guilt they've had to overcome bit by bit through the years. And even then, it never truly goes away. For a mind lacking that essential experience, it was simply he did that on purpose. too much to bear. <laughs> he totally did! Oh my god! I was joking! He totally did that on purpose. Me. Jesus Christ. Damn it, Snake. Never been under the You're an old control. creep now. You can't do that. That's why I want to examine your body. You <laughs> need to know, too. Uh... All right, Snake. Undress. Oh, pause. Wait a minute. All right, Snake. Maybe you did make the right move. Snake, what's gotten into you? Hurry up. That's when she saw it. The liver spots. <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? Couldn't tell by my face right. that, this was the, just, that that wasn't what the rest of the point. body was gonna look like. Come on. Yes. Of course. Looks like I've been swimming for too long. I'm sorry. Snake, do you remember what I told you in my video mail about the first generation of nanomachines? Hmm. The ones you stuck me with at Moses. Yes. The nanomachines are recharged by your body heat. They won't stop functioning until they're all Just extracted. Relax. Or until you do. Most of them were lost through bleeding and excretion, but around 30% still remain inside your body, That's attached enough. to your cells. I'm not finished yet. The first generation were never ID registered, so they don't react in the same way as the SOP nanomachines. Ready? But they may be interfering with your body and with your heart. Mm. So, does the aging have something to do with Fox Dye, too? No. Your telomeres were intentionally set up to be short, regardless of the age of the original. One of the genes that inhibit reproduction and aging, the Clotho gene, was intentionally mutated as well. But more importantly, your chromosomes, like liquids, were provided with Terminator genes to prevent them from making copies. The Terminator! Why? Your clones created for one purpose, war. And so, in order to prevent you from being abused by clients or stolen by the enemy, they shortened your lifespan and removed your ability to reproduce. 
game takes place about it was five a years after two, by the way. That the seed of Big Boss didn't MGS end up two. in the hands of others. The reason you're aging so rapidly isn't because of disease or faulty research or fox die. It's how you were born. It's your natural lifespan. Shocker. All right. God, I wish I could play this in 1080p. Without having to jump through hoops. The truth may owe me. How long is my body gonna hold out? Your cells... Blood, organs, nerves, skeletal system, muscle tissue. Every part of your body is aging rapidly. An ordinary man wouldn't even be standing by now. Snake, the only thing keeping you together is the strength of your will. How long do I have? Half a year. Don't. Why not at this point? Screw it. Snake. There's something I have to tell you. Uh, now what? You and I both know your body is approaching its limit. But when I said half a year, I wasn't talking about your lifespan. What do you mean? We can't get rid of the fox die in your body completely. At this point, it's circulating within you like a normal virus. Yeah, so? Listen to me. Fox die only kills its victims when the infected person's genetic code fully matches the genetic sequence programmed into the virus's receptors. In other words, it only attacks targets with specific genes. I know. That's what killed the AT president. And Liquid. Yes. And at the same time, it's set up to protect those not designated as targets from the virus's harmful effects. Here. I'll show you. The receptors on the fox die inside your body are breaking down. Don't worry, there's a the boss fight aging coming up. The process is changing the environment within your body. As a result, the virus is starting to mutate. The viruses on the left are fox die in its original form. The ones on the right I took from your body. They're already mutated. The receptors they're wearing down. Meaning? This mutated version of fox dye could activate even if the infected person's genetic pattern doesn't perfectly match the receptors. Which means the virus is becoming indiscriminate about what type of target it kills. Ever since Shadow Moses, fox dye has been breeding continuously in the nanomachine colony inside your body and dispersing into the air. But there are no more targets to attack, so there haven't been any more outbreaks. However, if the receptors continue to wear down, it'll become a killer virus that attacks untold numbers of victims. What if we kill them all? Remove them from the body? There are no antibodies either. I don't know what percentage of the receptors have to break down, or how many people will be targeted when that happens. But what is certain is that people will begin to catch fox dye through airborne transmission. It'll start with those closest to you. Then, one by one, they'll lose their lives. 
The part of the virus that distinguishes between individuals will start to break down in about... Half a year. No. Three months at the most. Three months? <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? You've spent your entire life saving the world from Metal Gear. From nuclear annihilation. And now... You're becoming a doomsday device yourself. I can't predict exactly how devastating the epidemic will be. Whether just 1% of the human race could unlock the broken receptors, or whether we all... I really didn't plan for this whole, uh, virus case, pandemic thing to pop up mid-convo. Mid <laughs> I didn't plan this, I promise. If it were up to me, you'd be quarantined already. It's not over yet. I know. We still have a job to do. You have three months. Still enough time to think once all of this is done with. And if I choose death first, will that stop Fox Die from spreading? When the host dies, the virus dies with it. Huh. Better let me have this cigarette. Snake, tell me one more thing. Have you been to a hospital lately? Yeah. While you were there, did they give you an injection? Don't they always? Take a look at this. These came out of your body as well. It's a new strain of fox dye, one I've never seen. Someone must have put them in you recently. Do you have any idea who? Him. The new fox dye strain is starting to multiply rapidly. Drebin! What's in it? I can't say for sure. I'll need to do some more tests. Here. Take this. It contains the same substance the soldiers' nanomachines secrete inside their bodies. It's a drug that inhibits the nanomachine's ability to regulate the senses. The nanomachines inside the body malfunction when the system interferes with them. It triggers a reaction in the body, which is why you're having the seizures. Give yourself a shot whenever they get bad. It's potent, so use it sparingly, unless you want to end up an invalid. It may restore your psych for a short while, but use it too often and the amount restored will start to decrease. I've been a fool. I let myself drown in my nanomachines and now I'm trapped by them. You said yourself, we mustn't allow ourselves to be chained to fate. I can't slip free. Then I'll free us both. Where's Liquid? I can't tell you yet. Not until you free me. You in? No. Liquid left here last night. Where was he headed? Those are my terms. I can't leave this place of my own will. What are you talking about? I'm being... watched. Mm -hmm. 
Liquid has altered his plan. Removing the system will only cause his army to collapse from within. So he's chosen to seize control instead. Liquid's objective is to hijack the SOP system. He'll use it to create the ultimate army of perfect soldiers and launch his insurrection against the Patriots. There's a name for his new plan. He calls it Guns of the Patriots. Guns of the Patriots. Oh, he said it. <laughs> this place isn't safe. Come with us. This way. Surrounded, Snake. You'll have to break through to go after Naomi. Take out those enemy soldiers and clear a path. to know a cheap way to do this. Under the bed with cigarettes equipped. Oh? Oh. That makes sense. Glide under one of these beds. Never thought of doing that. Actually, need to take some sort of some regain or something real quick. in this series always have like one or two uses. Hello! I see you. How many are alive? Yeah, for real, right? Only for the fans. Let me see here. Okay, there's two more.
Yeah, I never noticed that. I'm going through a lot of this playthrough blind, so I'm not too sure on the track. Yeah, I figured as much. mouth you're gonna pay for that this is a children's game <laughs> Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Fair enough. I figured about it. Ah, oh, the octoballs! Ah! Yes. She's hiding. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the music in this in this part's pretty epic. Of the, I'll get the hang of the tap of the uh, of the strat in a minute. Huh. I'm just not too used to the oil drum. I'll get, I'll get used to this drive. <laughs> ah. huh. Oh, okay. So, all right, yeah. All right. I see what you're saying. Oh, shit. Hello. All right, all right, all right. I'll get this. I'll get this ready. So... Hide from her in the drum can. My health regen. <laughs> ah, she saw me. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, he's throwing. I forgot about that. Um... Cool. Oh, you bastard. All right, all right. Try not to use as much, that much, like, uh, regain a rash or anything. We're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way for a minute. Well, the way that I know how to do it. Charged her. 
It's alright. That's okay. Oh, she's hiding. Alright, hold up. I wonder if the Mark II does anything against her. Out of curiosity. Like if I could stealth stun her. Yes? Yeah, you heard me. Damn it. I'm stuck on the bed. <laughs> I can't do it. I do have to say. Ah, I missed her. Damn it. That's okay. Oh, she's back here. She knows I'm here. Oh! Oh! Oh, damn it. No, not the bat again. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, yeah, that takes down a lot of her health. Oh shit. She's in, she's in the room. Right here. Get off the bed. That was my fault. I stunned myself. Rest in peace. Okay. Oh, fuck. It's, it's probably effective when you know what you're doing. For, for me right now, it's not working very well. When I beat her yesterday, I honestly just used stuns. A lot of stuns. Probably not the best tactic, but it's okay. Still work to an extent. What's up, man? How you doing? Much appreciated you coming by. Ah, God! I'm trying this barrel tactic against her, but it... I gotta, I gotta get some... I get some practice. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. 
Yeah, practice for sure. Oh, there she is. Oh, what, me? Yeah, you're gonna come rolling after me? Played the game thousands of times? Yeah, if I, w if I was, uh... If I had more knowledge of this game, I, I, I would have taken the time to learn it for sure. I might still. I didn't kill those guys. Hi. Yeah, don't what me. I never knew that you could back. Hey, how did I do that? Oh shit! Hey, rude, uncalled for. Rude and uncalled for. Zero out of ten on Yelp. Get out of my way. Come here. Come here. straight. Alright. I see what- I see. I see. I see, says the blind man. Yeah. Alright. I'm just glad there isn't a battle in this game like the end. Yeah, those guys are dead. She's hiding. One of the spots is the cat scan machine, I know that much. At least I'm pretty sure she's hiding. Snake, come here! I don't want to. Hey, over here! I don't think so. I don't think that's you. I think I'm just gonna have to get the sneaky up on you and Here, this way. do ye old roll, aren't I? Don't you think so? I think so. You're just around this corner. Yes, you are. Hey, over here. Hey, buddy. This How way. You doing? Snake. Oh, you dick! I should have known that was gonna come there. Smart. I should have known. I should have known. Ah, I fell for it. I fell for that so hard. I don't know if you could backstep like that. It's okay. Hey, uncalled for. This is why I have a ton of stuns. Battles are long, relentless, full of weeb references. Hey, buddy. How are you? Come here. Aha! Okay, now I gotta get out of the way. Oh, shit! That did not work. Oh wait, that hit him. That hurt. Naomi, why? Don't fall for it. It's another mimic. Watch oh out, shit! Snake. Almost like that's gonna one of the whole boss fight. Sneaky on me, man. It's okay. It's okay. We're not we're not done yet. 
Have I played this before? I've okay. I've played it before. I've played um, two and three. God, I don't even know how many times. Countless times. Four. I didn't have a PS3 long enough to get really good at it. So um, this playthrough is a lot more of a casual playthrough, which is why I've been going through all of the cutscenes. I hear you. That works. <laughs> Just keep throwing studs at her. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't I haven't played it in a while. Aside from this, like it's been like probably ten years. Uh, the anti-material sniper, I'm probably not gonna. Um, mostly just cause I like to play these games full non-lethal. <laughs> Maybe I will on a second playthrough mess around with a lot of the stuff. I want to get like the solar gun and stuff at some point. And the geckos, you must. Okay. Then yeah, I will. Then. I am an octopus, <laughs> an eight-legged beast. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you've ever played this game through PlayStation Now, but do you know if Are with uh, PlayStation control. Now on PS4 controller, if any of the motion controls work, like the six-axis stuff? I think you need that for the solar, or no, for the, uh, for the puppet. I can't remember what the puppet's called. Beautiful. off in the shop. Oh, that's right. Sundays and Wednesdays. Nothing is funny. What's up? I shouldn't be laughing. I can't. Oh, yeah. I remember that scene. The truth is... That's right. I know I'm with the digital laughing. camera and stuff, you could have, like, a photo shoot with them or something. I remember that much. Huh? Yeah. I, I shouldn't be laughing. I usually just lob stun. Honestly, I just lob stun grenades at her. You can't shoot her. I wonder if the barrel trick will work. It's gotta I'm work. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So sorry I laughed. I'm sorry. Look, man. I there's no point in making no. sense of a Metal Gear game after a certain point. I can't. <laughs> I should say a Hideo Kojima game because Death Stranding was to. the same way and so was Zone of the Enders. <laughs> Zone of the Enders especially. Snake, she's shed her suit. Who knows what she'll throw at I knew you it. next? Watch out! What she'll throw at me next? Here's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna throw grenades at the ground. Easy win. Easy win. Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 
snake gay. Everybody in this series is at least a little gay. I won't say no, but I won't say yes. Well, it's funny enough, because in MGS2, Snake straight up is like, Snake, or er, Vamp's not a vampire. He's not immortal. It's because he's bisexual. And I... I think he meant it as, like, a joke. But it's still funny. Yeah, 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 see? I never understood that line as a child. I was like, well, what does that have to do with any of this? It doesn't matter if he likes to ride bicycles. You know, because I was eight. I think I was six when I first played Metal Gear. Oh, that explains why they're so close. And MGS2. My queen. <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. My friend actually got to meet Phil Lamar in person. If I ever got to meet, meet David Hayter, I don't even know what I'd do. Ah, yes, Vamp. He's quite a fan of the British Broadcasting Company. Yo, Snake. Looking good today. Draven. What do you want? That's cold, man. And here I was about to tell my very best customer about face camo. Face camo? That camo skull cap you just picked up from Tentacle's shell. It utilizes the same kind of technology as your Octo Camo suit. Using the two together can get you even better results. I'd hang on to it if I was you. Doesn't fit. It's not my size or shape. Yeah. Looks like it could use a bit of tailoring before you can sport it. MA-282? Not my line of work, yeah. but... I like the railgun. buddy who specializes in that kind of thing? Yeah, I think you get from the... Huh. The, the wolf fight. Done their crying wolf. Hey. I can't wait to get job. Shadow Moses. Is that the real reason? Uh, you just, I'm just playing through on normal. Not doing anything special. I prefer the term customer data management. Like myself. I said, it's been a while since Driven. I played this game. Relax. Kind of just it's wanted to experience confidential. it. I ain't gonna share it with anybody. Then what did you mix a virus in with the nanomachines for? Virus? A certain virus was detected in my body. Are you saying it wasn't in the nanomachines you injected? Look, you do know there are other folks who could have done this to you. And besides, what would I gain from infecting you? Better for me that you're out there kicking ass on the battlefield. I was watching you, Snake. You're a real piece of work. Never thought I'd meet the man who could take down Laughing Octopus single-handedly. <laughs> she just kept on laughing. Now, why do you suppose that is? <sighs> Something in her past. You got it. She's from a village in Scandinavia. Little seaside hamlet known to all the locals as the Devil's Village. Place wasn't known for devils, though. It was known for octopus. See, this was one of the few places in Europe where they ate octopus customarily. Anyway, there's this cult of crazies who for some reason hate the village with a passion. Then, when she was just a teenager, things get bad. These nutcases get their hands on some weapons and attack the village. Overnight, her sleepy little fishing town becomes a war zone. They round up all the villagers and execute them one by one. Except for that girl. They had something else planned for her. Something a whole lot worse than dying. Calling her the devil's child, they forced her to do the kind of thing you'd expect from one of Lucifer's own. After they made her torture her family and friends, they made her kill them. The whole time they were forcing her to laugh, howl like some sort of demon. Like she was enjoying it. What was she gonna do? Say no? They'd kill her too. So she let fear take control and did exactly as they told her. She butchered the bodies of the ones she loved and laughed while she did it. And as she bathed in their blood, 
It gradually turned from deep red to jet black. To her, it looked like the ink of an octopus. The experience scarred her deep. Ever since then, she hasn't stopped laughing. Only, that ain't really laughter. Why are you telling me this? You expect me to feel sorry for her? No. I know you got no room for that stuff in your world. And besides, this is war. Right? I'm a lad in a way, though, a motherfucker! I guess it was Agent, right thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Fighting you cleansed her mind. Three away from 400, right, guys. enough chit-chat. There's other beasts out there in them woods. Watch your back. Oh, I love the Octo Camo. All right, time to track down. Almost said Meryl. Naomi. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, no worries. I appreciate you uh, staying around so uh, for so long. I'm like what, like nine hours? Joking. It's been uh four hours and twenty minutes, exactly almost. There you go. All right, you have a good one. Down footsteps, Hansel and Gretel. This part always threw me off so bad. It always throws me for a loop. I know I just gotta Snake, follow the footprints. Have you lost sight of the target? Whenever something moves, it leaves a trail behind. Track and find Naomi's trail. I'm not like Big Boss. Tracking isn't my strongest suit. When did you get so good at it? After saving Sunny, I drifted around the globe. In Alaska, a tribal elder taught me some scouting techniques. Drifted. You never went back to see Rose. Rose? She doesn't exist. No. Rose and I live in different worlds, different times. Her world has no place for someone like me. My place is here on the battlefield. Huh. Listen, Snake. Scouting is based on the principles of hunting. There are two fundamentals. Awareness and tracking. Awareness? Awareness refers to locating a trail by paying careful attention to your surroundings. Tracking means to follow that trail. Your target's trail could be footprints, a branch they broke along the way, bent grass trampled underfoot. You need to feel for clues using all your senses. Sound, smell, touch, the direction of the wind. Watch how the animals move. Listen for unusual bird calls. These are signs that someone may be disrupting the environment nearby. You sound like a ninja. Exactly. Ninja are the ultimate scouts. If your enemy is a skilled scout, they'll be doing the same thing. You may be the hunter, but you are also the hunted. To avoid enemy detection, move slowly, little by little. Don't disturb the air around you. Try to make as little noise as possible. Your pursuers will be doing the same, trying to sneak up on you without a sound. If you can't pick up the trail with your naked eye, switch the solid eye to infrared mode. Last time that I played this, uh, to see Naomi's footprints probably like 2010. Any enemies lying it's in been a while. Bush. Switch the solid eye to infrared. At least all the way through. Got it. But the sound it makes while engaged could end up giving your position away. So don't leave it on for too long. 
All right. Yeah, Listen and like I said, heart. we're doing all the cuts. Trust your so. senses as much as you can, and you will find Naomi's trail. I'll give it a shot. You know, feel free to feel feel free to pop in and out. You don't Snake, have to watch the whole Naomi's game. Trail and find out where they took her. So I'm gonna buy some uh, buy some more rounds here. Uh, no, I don't really need any more, but why not? We're in the neighborhood. All right, now we look for Naomi's footsteps. We follow him. Oh, still going this way. There are gonna, there are frogs that watch you around here. I know that much, and the solid eye gives your position away. Snake, Sorry. the trail splits up into multiple directions. Look closely at the footprints. Yes, this way. Okay. I know people who are really good at this game don't even need to follow these, but still. Looks like they split up here. Ah. What? Hey, let me uh grab this camo. Alright, so footprints went this way. I still remember the most. I remember how this game goes. Um yesterday I played through about you up think to that here. could be Naomi's. So I'm not totally lost, but anything after like really act three. Uh, especially when it comes to, like, uh, the Shadow Moses part and the ending of the game. I'm really rusty on. So I can't say this is a totally blind playthrough, but, uh, like I said, I started playing through it yesterday and just decided to, just decided to restart. Because I really enjoy Metal Gear and I don't mind, uh, replaying the game from the beginning for you guys. Hey! Oh! Hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, it's stuff like that. My rating's not going to be too great in this anyways, so I'm not too worried about it. Huh? That's weird. Naomi's shoe prints just vanish. But just hers. It's okay. I'm going to try and find the hands camo, by the way, which is another secret, which I'm sure you're aware of, but... Uh, yeah, there's her footsteps again. Where are the hands? The hands are, I think, are down here more. Okay, yeah, the, there's a frog up here, I'm pretty sure. Area 51 thing here. Oh, the crop circles? Oh, yeah. I don't remember where they are, but I'm aware of them. I, I only uh, just remembered the hand print camo thing yesterday. What? Wait a minute. It's the solid eye. The sound is giving your position away. Take cover, Snake. I must. What? What? I'm not here. Thumbs over here. Any more? Think we're good? I 
footsteps are still this way. No, we're not. Who's lying? They must have gone separate ways here. Okay. Let me grab this claymore real quick. Okay, so here are her footsteps. Let me just make sure that... Oh, here's the hands. Okay. Yeah, let's get the hammo. And camo. So you missed it earlier. Uh, I'm not going for all of the camos, but I do also have... A little change. They're not going to change? Uh, there's a cardboard box camo you can get, is what I was trying to show you. Kind of neat. Snake has a stamp on his ass. Fun. Anyways, back, back on the mission. I'm actually kind of glad that I uh, played through this part yesterday. I got so lost, I was, I was wandering this area for like probably 45 minutes. Who's there? Nobody. It's the enemy. No, it's not. Following her footsteps. There's her shoes. Then they pick. Then she got picked up. Okay. You're trying to loot it, and you woke one up. What the enemy? Ah! Damn. Shit. My aiming is awful in this because there's input lag. It's okay. I don't. I'm not worried, honestly, about uh, my rating or anything like that. Oh shit. Um, things are heavier. I want to say it's this one. Ah, it's the enemy. ah! No, it's not. Shut up. Calm yourself. Let's start paying attention to my surroundings again. Okay, I remember vaguely. So one thing about MGS5 though is that like it slows down, like when someone sees I'm you for a second. I'm noticing more footprints now. Security's getting tighter. We could be getting close to Naomi. There we go. See, it took me. I never noticed that that was there. Okay, I never noticed that entrance was there. I walked by it like six or seven times. Can't get it. That's all right. I mean, it's okay if I can't get it. At least for right now. Dude, MGS4 Online was so good. I wish they would release this on PC. I wish they'd release all the Metal Gears oh, on God. PC and implement mod Damn. support. I'm I know so 1 and 2 are on yeah. PC, but they're... And they're taking Naomi away. They didn't update them. They, they run like shit unless you patch them properly. It's really disappointing. They need like a proper re-release. Which probably won't happen game might be doomed to only be on the PS3 forever, and that's a shame, because honestly, for a game came out in 2007, the game looks incredible. We don't know what will happen. Remember yeah, I kind of I stayed away from Metal Gear Solid 5's online for the most part. Shortly. I like the base building, but for me, it was never all... It was never totally about the base building. 
Well, I guess uh, Peace Walker didn't stand out to me too. That game again. Or at least play, Got play. Go ahead. You know, finish up what I was doing with it. We'll use his blood. It and it is a great intense. stealth game. It's just I was disappointed in the lack of Metal Gearness that Shots was in it a lot of the you. time. Yes, sir. I'll be taking in. The beginning of that game is amazing, though. I wish the beginning of that game was just like the rest of it. Capturing the Tsuchinoko from MGS3. We just had to spam mouse traps everywhere. Shoot the armored uh, dudes with the machine gun. I'm pretty sure after a while, Drummond just drives off on his own. I made that mistake last time, and I. If you shoot them with the turret, they count as. If it's unmanned, it doesn't. As far as if I'm if I remember correctly, I should I should add that if I remember correctly. Need to live? Rabin. Get in already. Oh yeah, I'm sure it takes them out plenty fine, but it'll count as a kill towards me. I have to just try and trank him. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. The armored soldiers, not the geckos, the armored soldiers that are up ahead. They they are just soldiers in max. Okay. But the geckos are autonomous, so. Bike chase with Big Mama, yeah. Cause you have to shoot the, you have to shoot Raven's, uh, Raven's things. I think it's really hard hitting them uh, with the input delay on that bike. By the way, with the trank gun, it's ridiculous. That part of the game's hard, hundred percent. We're not gonna get to that this stream though. We're just gonna finish up this chapter. I've already been going on this for about four and a half hours. 
I got I got stuff I want to do. I like the way he's I like his stance right now. I want to take this off because I hate cutscenes with the face cam on. Yeah, these guys right in front of me. Oh, shit! Can I try? Can I try them? And press the attack button to fire. Probably not. I think they're armored. Aim, snake. Hang on! It's gonna get bumpy! Damn it! It's fine. Go, Drebin, go! Powered suits are in our way! Take them out, Snake! I can't remember how to take them out non I'm pretty sure if I just wait. They're blocking the way! Yeah, get rid of those guys, Snake! There's nothing really I can do about them. I don't want to have to take them out if I don't have to. But I'm pretty sure they'll just go right through after a while. CQC on these things. Yeah. Who needs to see? We got the CQC. You want an IQ you work for NASA? Yeah, they're yeah, right. I wish. Out of my way! Out of my way! That's what I thought, yeah. Right. Yeah, I made the mistake yesterday of uh, shooting that guy. Oh, you were talking about Duke. Yeah, he's super smart. He's, he's really knowledgeable on this kind of stuff. Gecko, they must really like him. I wouldn't have known about that barrel strat. You guys I can shoot. Yeah, the geckos you can destroy. We got a neighbor. Hello. Gecko will try to ram you. Oh, just don't just let them get you close. Ah, oh, shit. I shot one. Damn it. Whatever. That's my own fault. Whatever. Fine. I'll be upset if that's my only kill for the game, but we're gonna do fine. reward at the end of this uh, yeah, sequence is one of the most badass parts of the game. I guess I didn't have to there. <laughs> I was being safe. I was playing it smart. Get ready for the speed! Yeah, for real. That was a strong door. Turn around speed up the curve. So 
decade and a half. Out of my way! fact about this game actually this was the first uh video game at least one of the very first video games to have um cutscene transitions like this where it goes directly into the gameplay and there's not like a fade to black it's pretty interesting i think it's i think that's just a little fun tidbit bit of information for you guys you guys already knew that. Though. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. All of the uh, all of the cutscenes are taken in engine in the game. They're not uh, like free rendered cutscenes. part of the game. Come on, Naomi. Stay with me. Here they come! There he is. We're hiding. I remember the first time I saw this after the scandal that MGS2 was. Because nobody, before the game released, nobody knew that Raiden was a thing. They only showed uh, gameplay from the first uh, chapter, the tanker chapter. So, seeing Raiden for the oh, first time God, was jarring, and nobody liked it. Can you move? Yes. Seeing him at four, uh, he, he redeemed himself. <laughs> Let's go. Here they come!
Excuse me. Snake. It's my turn to protect you. It's snake. It's the uh the it was just the aesthetic of games back then. Like, think about like how Fallout 3 looked. It was just hey, the me. color scheme that everyone decided to use. Games from this era are very bleak looking. GTA 4 looked the same kind of way. Um Bioshock didn't. Bioshock looked really good, but yeah, it was just it was just how things looked. It was just the art design everyone went for. Alright, let's see if I can make it through here without dying. Now's your chance to make an escape. Snake, there's no time to take on the gecko. Just ignore him and get out of there quick. Working on it. Every single time I get there, he's about to leg sweep me and I hit the cutscene barrier. I don't know, maybe it is the coverage of the clouds. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I'm a little busy right now. Thank you. <laughs> Yet again, our paths cross. Big oof. Big oof to ride in. I love this part of the game. It's so you too, ass. Immortal. No. I just don't fear death. Oh, such a good quote. I mean, look at this. Like, come on. You can't take this series seriously at all. Oh. I mean, not that, it, not that that's a bad thing, but I mean, like, come on. That's the best thing about this, uh, this entire series is you can take it seriously if you want to. There's fact rooted in into it, but at the end of the day, it's basically just a kick-ass anime. That's really all it is.
Personally, what would have been really cool is uh, if they did with this game is imagine if they made it so that you could either play as Snake or Raiden. Raiden's was a lot more Raiden's side was a lot more king to how uh, Revengeance was, and then uh, Snake's was obviously just normal MGS4 as we know. I feel like that would have been cool. Being able to actually fight in this scene. <laughs> yeah, but MGS was never really about the realism. It was always just an over-the-top action game. Self-action game. And even from the very beginning. It just, it just has peppers of facts and theories and theories. That's the way I look at it. It doesn't have to be serious. We're confirmed at the agenda. Oh, this is about being crazy. I mean, at the very least, this is entertaining. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was that's insane. That's why this game took so long to make. They started making it right like right after uh I think right after they finished the street. So it took about five years. And it's all in engine. Like I said, these aren't pre-rendered cutscenes. These are all this is all made in game. Okay. Fine. Right. <laughs> You're. Yeah, Kojima was probably just like, just make it the most oh. over the top shit that you've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> they probably had a lot of fun in between making this scene for sure. Boss. And a Motorola Razor. Are you I remember sure that phone? about this? It's all part of the plan. The test was a failure, even with his code. As I feared, it's not pure enough. We need all of him. The PMCs we deployed have suffered brain damage. Nothing salvageable remains. Our only remaining option is to secure the original. I know that. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's I think that's why Snake is the perfect uh, perfect protagonist because he kind of doesn't feel a lot of empathy or sadness or doesn't convey his emotions properly. So it leaves it up to the leaves it up to the player to really con convey that for himself. Snake is just the vessel in which we see the game through. Hang in there. Fam. He's got to be immortal. No, he's not immortal at all. It was my design that caused his body to be like that. Huh? What do you mean? The nanomachines in his body cause his wounds to close and heal at an accelerated rate. Someone took the basic nanomachine technology I once researched and perfected it. In a sense, I'm responsible for Bam. He's one of my sins. Does your body have the same nanomachines? I brought a monster into this world. Right. Hold him down. He 
He's losing too much blood. Can you save him? I don't know. He needs a blood transfusion. No, an infusion of artificial blood. Snake, Brian. sympathy for they metal gear solid in general does a really good job of fleshing out its villains and giving them backstories that aren't just this person's bad and they need to die you know what i mean i didn't get any kills i got a lot of alert phases but i didn't get any kills sweet excellent all right well i appreciate this so much i appreciate the stream so much this was awesome I've never had, I haven't streamed this long ever, really. Maybe once or twice when I was playing through Resident Evil 7. But other than that, uh, it's been a pretty long stream. I really appreciate it, you guys. I, I really do. And I want to say thank you to everyone that uh, that popped up uh, in the stream. I want to thank you to the three people that, subs or that not that subscribed, that uh, followed. Um, and I'd like to appreciate everyone that watched, everyone that commented. You guys are the shit. And uh, I'm going to call it there. We're going to end it off at exactly five hours worth of streaming. Jesus. All right. Well, anyways, that's Metal Gear Solid 4. I hope you guys come back tomorrow for the second part of this. I'm, I'm going to try and play through chapters 3 and 4 tomorrow. And then hopefully on Tuesday, we should be wrapping up the game. That's going to be the goal. Then after that, I guess we could speculate on when, on whatever I'm going to play next. I like playing through a lot of single player games. So, yeah. But uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'm going to peace out. All right, man. You have a good night at work. Hopefully, uh, hopefully shit goes right with that uh, hand bl or the sand blaster, dude. You're in there. Uh, let me know. You know, I'll, I probably won't be up too late and trying to get back on a normal schedule, but yeah, just let me know. So, uh, anyways, I appreciate it, you guys, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow, uh, around the same time, around noon. I'll try to shoot for around noon. Alrighty, adios.